Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Season 3, The Reunion Part 1. I'm like, really? Is this going to be, this is a two-part review? Because it is so difficult to review reunions because we're, we're rehashing what we've already talked about and then trying to rehash it when you're trying to figure out what three different people are saying at the same time because you know with all reunions it's multiple people yelling at the same time and you're trying to figure out what each person said so you gotta rewind okay this is what this person said okay let me go back and see what this person said it's like so difficult again y'all who review these shows y'all know what I'm talking about when you're trying to get everything down and try to figure out what the heck is going on because it's been multiple times that I've been like watching the show and then like trying to get notes together and watch it i was like when the heck did that happen people were saying that person did that i'm like like on um, uh, real housewives of atlanta i didn't even notice that kenya's red carpet was over a patch of dirt because i was too busy trying to figure out and talk about Sheree trying to climb down the dock on the steep as all get out um driveway but anyway back to this show we have fizz monies and nikki and how Fizz didn't tell Nikki that he was staying at Monisa's house. And me personally, I didn't see anything wrong with him staying over at Monisa's house because he was saving money. He's spending more time with his son when his house and his neighborhood had that gas leak. Instead of, I, I would have done the same thing. Instead of paying, uh, getting a hotel room, spending money, or buying a temporary, getting into a temporary residence, that money I can save and put it towards my son's education um into a um, savings account or what have you and i'm with my son more often because i'm with his at his mother's house with him i can take him to school i can pick him up from school i can cook for him we're spending more time together so i didn't see anything wrong with that but i still feel that he should have told nikki but his thing was him and nikki they were trying to get together get get something started but she wasn't ready for that so he was like okay if you're not really ready for a relationship then i really don't need to tell you where i'm staying at this you know point in time but Moniz felt it was like her duty because she don't like nikki or just she wanted to be messy it's like okay not only is phil staying with me but i want to have another baby by him that's where you know things went wrong and Miss Nikki Baby is telling Fizz how, like, you were sleeping on couches. Like, what grown person does that? He's like, um, first of all, I was not sleeping on a couch. Moniz has a three-bedroom home. I had my own room. And I, I'm telling y'all, I was like, no. Like, ooh, I have my own room. I was not sleeping on a couch. Because, like, sleeping on a couch is worse than having your own room in somebody's house. Yes, I get that. But he's like, um... I had my own room over there. I was not sleeping on couches. Who told you that lie? Then at one point, these two get to going back and forth. It's like, it wasn't anything like you, like, trying to act like you this big, bad person. But, like, the only reason people are checking for you because they want to see who you were sleeping with next. And I was like, no. Then he got on her plastic surgery. And I'm like, hold up for, for a second, her fears, because... You was liking her the way she was. So don't come now and talk about all the plastic surgery she just had. And Nikki had a nerd to be like, plastic surgery? Now, Nikki, that is not the body that God gave you. That is the body that the Beverly Hills plastic surgeon gave you. So don't sit there and act like, me? Plastic surgery? We're not going to do that. No, you're not going to even try to insult my intelligence like, oh my goodness, how dare you insinuate that I had surgery, even though everybody who's known me and seen pictures of me before known that I've had plastic surgery. Then we get on to Miss Heekett and how she suggested that instead of Brandy stealing her baby's money, that she should have spent that money on the baby's braces. Now, you don't bring children into with the situation. I'm a firm believer that you can talk about the mom and dad all you want to, but don't bring it into child into the situation. And, like, my thing is, first of all, the baby, he's, what, like, three or four? So, his baby teeth hasn't even fallen out yet for him to need braces. Like, that would be a waste of money, like, spending braces on some teeth where they're going to fall out. He ain't got his grown teeth yet. Now, if she had said that to Max, I could have understand. And then pause for the cause right there. Why does Max have a grill? Now, I know my teeth are not the perfect of teeth. I don't have that type of money. When I get that type of money, I'm getting teeth fixed. But Max, you have money. It's like, y'all, I'm not trying. Now, y'all know Max and his teeth. They are a lot, and then they're not a lot. Like, he has very large canines with small teeth, and some of them, they're kind of doing a, 
up and down type of situation why are you enhancing that with a grill I need to know that another thing I need to know safari what do you have on it is like a leather trench coat with a fur hood now when I was watching the show it was irritating me because I was like it reminds me of something I just couldn't remember where it reminded me from. Then it hit me. Do y'all remember the Chipmunk Adventures when Alvin, Simon, and Theodore went up against, was it Bridget, the Chipettes? And they was flying around in um, hot air balloons transferring the little Chipmunk and Chipmunk Chipette dolls. Y'all remember Claudia on there, the sister that was like with her brother, like was basically... Uh, cashing in diamonds for money or money for diamonds she had on like this I guess it was a robe and she had like the slippers and match that had the little fur on it that's what it reminded me of I was like that so reminds me of Claudia on the Chipmunk Adventures she had that on when she was at the pool when her dog got a little drop of hair on him and he just like oh lord I am done I had like the dog was acting like a girl when she was little when she got her hair wet. I'm just going to say that. Like, oh my goodness, my, my life is over. But Claudia had like this robe on with fur on it. And her shoes had this fur on And that is what Safari's coat reminded me of. I'm like, he loves him some leather. And more importantly, he loves him some fur. But back to the whole Masika. Masika, don't stop. Let me talk about that, baby. You have a child now. And you wouldn't want nobody to talk about your baby. And like, yes, she could have moved used the money on something else. But like, braces for her baby. You was going a little too far for that one. Just uh, y'all, just leave kids out of the whole equation if you talk about somebody. Moni, she is done with the whole situation, and I, I loved Moni's outfit. It was like a tank top at the bottom. It was like this very full out skirt. I thought it was cute. Her hair was cute. I like Moni. She doesn't really have a bad moment with her. She has a bad attitude and she's crazy, but like she always on point when it comes to her outfits. But anyway, it's just like I try to squash things. When we had the mommy and mimosas. But Brandy, she decided to continue yapping like she always does. And Princess was ready to take things to the park. And in my opinion, Moniece couldn't win either way. Now, if Moniece had went to the park, it would have been okay. Look at Moniece out there being crazy. What kind of mom are you going to the park to fight somebody? But if she now that she didn't go, oh, you scared, you this, you that, and the other because you didn't go fight. So, like, she's damned if she does and she's damned if she doesn't. And Moni, she does tend to play the victim. But, like Nia said, if you have multiple people ganging up on you, you can't help but be the victim of the situation. You may not like me, but, like, if I'm trying to squash the situation and you don't, well, then I'm just like, I tried, to, I tried to make peace with it, but you wanted to keep on yapping, and you wanted to fight. So, okay, now it's time for me to play dirty, and that's why I did what I did. I got on stage, and I talked about how Brandy was jumping through windows and fighting people because her husband was cheating on her yet again. That's why I did. I'm like, mm -hmm. Yeah, but like Princess, she's sitting here like, I'm ready to fight and just get it over with. But Moniece has that skinny girl crazy fight to look about her. Now, I'm not saying that Princess can't fight, but Moniece has, you know, the additive of being crazy. And I'm just not sure who would win in this situation. Moniece feels that I could have been ugly and brought up Princess's sex tape. But I did it. And Prince is like, well, I knew who was on my sex tape. Well, Moniece didn't have, you know, the privilege of that. Because she didn't know she was being filmed while she had her sex tape. That's why she didn't know who was on it. It wasn't like she'd done multiple sex tapes. I'm like, who could it be? Could it be Paul? Could it be Ryan? Could it be Joaquin? Man, it could have been Aaron. She didn't know she was being filmed to know who was on the sex tape. And why was Jason Lee there? I need to know that. Just somebody, anybody, I don't care who it is, who have actual factual knowledge. Why was Jason Lee there? I just want to know that. And this is when Fizz and Max kind of get, got into it. Because Fizz, Fizz was defending Moni. It's like, nobody knew about this tape until y'all brought it up. Now Max is like, I ain't had nothing to do with it. You was a participant in wanting to get it out further. 
you were sitting there like, yeah, she came for us. We're going to come for her till you came to your senses and you was thinking about their child. But you was ready for that. And she was like, y'all all was all about it. Ray was the only one like, man, this is whack. I don't want nothing to do with it. But like, y'all all had sex tapes. And then at one point, Nikki was like, well, Moni, she was trying to slide into Safari's DMs. I'm like, I don't think she did. And here's why. Moniece is the kind of person that's going to admit to something whether it makes her look bad or not. Like when she said she slept with Ray back in the day. She admitted it and said I would do it again if I had the chance. Moniece, she's like, I did that for my music. Did I or did I not Safari? And Safari took the good cut of his coat and tried to like disappear like, y'all don't see me do y'all. If I sit like this, ain't nobody gonna see me. But he was like, it was music involved. But I was like, I feel that if Moniece was going to do that, she would have said something. She would have been like, yeah, I did it. I tried to slide in his DM for something other than music. And what? Like, Nikki, you can't really get mad because you was cheating on Safari. So he wasn't really yours. She didn't say that, but she could have said that. So, Brandy, you were the fixer of the group. This is what you're telling us? Mm -hmm. She tries... I'm not even going to say hard because, like, you weren't going to convince me either way. Like, I am the fixer of the group. And the only reason why I told Ray that Princess was contemplating getting her own prenup and the way she says that word, a uh, prenup um, is because I wanted to fix things from, I saw what was going to happen and I decided that, hey, I need to fix this situation because that's what I do with the group. No... No, Babu, you didn't do that. You didn't listen to your husband because eventually, like I said, Princess was going to have to get Ray to sign it in order for it to be valid. But no, you ran and went and told him about the prenup in your word and caused drama. You weren't trying to fix it. Like, when has Brandy been the one that fixes things? Let me know this situation. Can somebody tell me this? When has Brandy, whatever her last name is, been the like, okay, things is going down. We need to call Brandy because Brandy's going to know what to do to fix certain situations. All right, y'all got her number because I don't know what the world's going to do. Where's Brandy's number? Because she is the fixer of the group. When have you ever been the fixer of the group? I'm waiting. Anybody tell me. And then she tries. I'm like, Brandy, I don't care how you try to spin it. The air world's always going to point at you stole your baby's money. Whether you try to justify it, well, it was just his savings. I don't care if it was from his savings, from a CD. I don't care if it was from his piggy bank. You stole your baby's money. You can't spend it any other type of way. I don't know if you're trying to spend the arrow with your right hand or your left hand. Either way, the arrow is always going to point that you stole your baby's money. Simple as that. And when asked by, when Moni, they asked Moniz, how do you feel about the situation? She's like, I don't care either way. It is not helping me. And I said this before. Brandy. If your company's online business before you made it a brick and mortar, if you didn't have enough money from online sales for your portion, what makes you think it was going to be well with a brick and mortar? Because online sales, you don't need an actual store. You don't need to pay for insurance for a set store. You do not have to have employees. You do not have to have racks. You do not have an actual store. That is extra, extra money. And if you did not have that money from the online store, what makes you think you was going to have it from an actual store? I'm waiting. I have another question. Hazel, you was on this show for one episode and now you're at the reunion and I, w I need to know why. Can somebody tell me why? I, I just want to know why she was there. Like, you, they waited. I don't know if this was like on purpose or you had been filming a lot but we saw you maybe five minutes out of the whole season but now you at the reunion trying to cause drama yeah so that was basically the gist that went on if i left anything out 
By all means, leave a comment or a video response. And like always, I want to thank the subscribers and the people watching my videos. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.